plate, which presumably means that on the very shortly to be released um, E2C 2000, Hawkeye 2000 kit, presumably this will be um, another a, a separate uh, belly insert with that fairing on it. So that explains the initial confusion as to uh, why there should be a separate belly insert. Next brew to look at is the um, kind of minor details if you like, it's, it's got wheels with separate hubs, um, the engine fronts uh, which as I said before you've got um, poly caps which will um, locate into there before you join the fronts up to the main nacelles which will allow the props to spin. Uh, the four bladed props here, um, very nicely moulded, a uh, bit strange to see, I'm, I'm surprised that they uh, the, the props are actually moulded in with a spinner but looking at it it, it, it does appear to be fairly sensibly done um, it, it's probably the best way of, of doing this uh, given the, the, the nature of the large cuffs which this prop uses very nicely moulded um, very restrained uh, engraved detail on the props themselves including the uh, white red white tips very nice um, no, no complaints with that at all so you've got two essential identical sprues there as you can see uh, with an extra sprue here which has the main undercarriage legs uh, the nose wheel bay and a rest of hook and some, some small aerials in it uh, so that's those those two finally we move on to the the main reason for the Hawkeye if you like the, Haw the Hawkeye's raison d'etre which is the, uh, the, the large um, rotor dome on top which contains the the, the radar a fantastic piece of moulding this, uh, lots and lots of detail which you, you, you probably wouldn't notice in, uh, in, in everyday life on the Hawkeye unless you know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, all sorts of lightning conductor strips on the top side, access panels on the underside. Uh, again, these will be lo the, the actual um, rotor dome itself is located by means of a poly cap um, onto, the, uh, onto the fairing here. Two part fairing with some extra uh, locating. Um, uh, pylons, um, struts. Uh, looks like it'll go together very nicely. I don't foresee uh, any any problem with that at all. Um, in fact, I have heard from somebody who started one of these that yes, it does go together very very nicely. So I look forward to uh, to having a go myself um, in the near future. There's an extra poly bag here. Um, this contains, as you can see, uh, the clear sprues. There's a clear nose cone. Very clever piece of moulding by Hazigar where you've got a clear nose cone. Um, you mask off just the, the, the small window um, which is I believe the, the landing lights and stuff in the nose of this aircraft and there's a, a landing light piece of detail that goes into the, the fuselage before you add this nose on. Paint over everything except for the uh, small clear part should lead to a fantastic result, a, a, clear, um, a clear panel on the lower nose and the lights are visible inside it. Uh, canopy here with uh, separate uh, bulge side inserts to be glued in. Uh, that'll require some care, no doubt, but um, I don't foresee any real problems with that. Um, it's nothing that um, anybody shouldn't be able to cope with. So that's the clear parts, again, very impressive. Um, final part of this uh, this new kit for this one, the, the Japanese Air Self Defense version, is the decal sheet. Words fail me with this decal sheet. It's uh, it, it is superb. It looks very very. The decals look very very thin, uh, far thinner than you'd normally get with uh, with, with Hazigar decals. The whites are actually white, which I know is a bugbear of many people and and Hazigar decals. Um, you get um, various options, including the uh, Hawkeye 2000 uh, pattern aircraft, which has um, some some blue striping and some, uh, some a nice hawk kind of um, motif on the side. Um, quite a simple decal sheet. I, I, I'd expected there to be more on here to be honest um, but uh, I've got no, no reason to suspect that it isn't fully comprehensive and the Hawkeye perhaps just doesn't have as much in the way of stencil detail as I, I originally suspected. Uh, but what you do get, as I said, is um, printed superbly well. You've also got instrument panel um, decals should you um, prefer to, to use them over um, painting it yourself. So there you have it, instruction sheet at the bottom, um, very nice um, painting painting schematics for the uh, for the modeler to go by, um, as Hazigawa's are, are some of the best in the business these days. Um, 
as you can see there, there are options for numerous aircraft at least five different aircraft are covered on the sheets from the uh, Japanese Air Self Defence Force um, so there you have it there's the uh, that's the new um, Hazigawa Hawkeye uh, superb model looks very nice I have heard from people who have started building it that it is um, it builds every bit as good as it looks in the box uh, further variants to come. Um, that there's an E2C with the uh, the Hawkeye 2000 with the um, eight bladed props to come very shortly in U.S. Navy markings. I fully suspect there'll be other variants along in due course. Uh, perhaps a more traditional U.S. Navy one with the four bladed props. Um, I'd be very surprised if uh, Hazigawa don't cover the Israeli um, Hawkeyes at some point. And obviously you've got you've got your own options because of, there are a fair few users of the Hawkeye throughout the world. Um, Taiwan uses it. France uses it, um, Israel, Japan, the US Navy, so it, it, it's, um, it's got about a bit. It's been used by a lot of countries and uh, it's still being sold and it's still available for countries. So nice to have a kit to replace the um, old and to be honest the, the Fujimi kit has been, is well past its prime. Um, I first got the Fujimi kit in the mid 80s and I'd have to say it was pretty much past its prime then. So. Finally, 20 odd years later, uh, we've got a brand new tool, Hawkeye, uh, in 70 second scale, which is um, everything we could have uh, we could have wanted from a new tool. I look forward to building it and uh, hopefully showing you some pictures of uh, the build in in due course.